<laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. It is Favorites with Friends, and this week I have my friend Lisa Joe with me. Hey, Lisa Joe. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Uh, we were just discussing how um, we need to get this show on the road because really it's 8.30 my time, 9.30 hers. We should be sitting in front of the TV. Yeah, we should be binge watching something, obviously. <laughs> right. And then I mentioned what I would be watching, the new season of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. And I judged you. I was judged hard. Hard judge there. I mean, that's just a dumb show. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. It's so, so funny. And it has brought us so many wonderful gifts. <laughs> I tried I watching it. I watched, I think, almost the whole first season. Could not get into it. Really? Really. Truly. That's so crazy to me. Yeah. Huh. True. Well, there's just no accounting for taste. Say both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Our friendship will try to bridge this divide between us. Okay, we got we got to find some common ground here. So we do. I will ask you the question that I ask everyone every week: What is your favorite show right now? All right, this is a very complicated question for me. I as you I know. know, I have notes, many shows written down in front of me. So I thought about how I would answer this. Mm -hmm. I have to go with this. I watch TV way some people read favorite books over and over and over again certain shows right i call them my comfort food shows yes like my go-to for like make me feel warm and better and happy and so i i i my favorite show right now isn't a current show on tv so i'm gonna just go with the entire collective works TV wise, not movie, because we could go there too, of okay. Aaron Sorkin. Okay. Of Aaron Sorkin. So, and I'm not just like a Fairweather West Wing fan, okay, people? Mm -hmm. He has written way more than the West Wing, okay? That's true. So, That's I, true. I, all the way back to Sports Night. Oh, I love Sports Night. When he was still getting his rhythm, it's kind of janky in places. You can tell it's not quite as musical as it is now. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we had West Wing. My favorite Aaron Sorkin show, underappreciated, undervalued, Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. I love that one, too. We, I mean, this is the thing we could talk about the most. Yes, it was it. panned by everyone. Everyone said they hated it. Not well, initially. Every episode. Let us be careful, because not initially. <laughs> initially, it was received with glowing reviews, and people were very excited about his new show, but there had been so much hype around it, and it was going up against 30 Rock. Yes, that was very confusing. They both have the same premise, but one is a drama and one is a comedy. Right. Um, so yeah, Studio 60, and then his most recent, of course, is Newsroom, which I love as well. So I I, I love him so much that I pay <laughs> with my own money to take one of those online master classes that they advertise all over the place. Have yes. You seen that? Yes. Really? Screen. I did. I sure did. So you're like best friends with him. I mean, it's not like you're actually in contact with him. <laughs> you get to watch. Okay, so he, you now know all his ways. I mean, it's so fascinating because he'll take certain episodes you really love and kind of like go around and explain like the decisions that he made. I just, I love how his writing, he talks about how writing should sound like music. And when you follow his dialogue, it does. He doesn't let people ever improvise because he wants the words to sound just so. Right. He thinks, of, he thinks of dialogue as music and different voices as different tones. I just, I love everything about it. Everything. <laughs> I binge watched him like crazy. So I've That really, is awesome. I don't even, I could not tell you how many times I have watched all the West Wing episodes. Wait, wait, let's back up. Before binge watching was a thing, is when West Wing started. Do you remember that? It was on weekly. You had to watch it on TV. There was I do, rem I do remember back in the day before back we were in the binge watch. I recorded it on my VCR so Love that VCR. I could binge watch the episodes. So I could go back and like re-watch them. Oh, so you kept it. You recorded it and then kept it? Did you wait? Yes. Did you save them up? Yes. And I created entire tapes of <laughs> West Wing. 
it gets better, Mary. It gets better. Oh my gosh. So I was in the States at the time and in South Bend, Indiana at law school. My dad, who lives in South Africa, which is where I'm from, I kept telling him about the show, how amazing it was. So I was like, Dad, when I come home for Christmas, we are going to watch the show together. And I came home only to discover that American VCR player tapes don't work in the South African system, much oh, like no. anything. Wait. So my dad who believed me and how great this show was, paid his own cash money for me to go to this tank <laughs> pick shop for them to convert it. This is a true story. From American VHS to South African, what do they use there? UHB, I think, or something. Okay. So we could binge watch it together. And we So did. you are not only a like a devoted fan, but a missionary. I am a missionary. Taking it I, to all the contents. I am taking the <laughs> message of Aaron Sorkin. So this was back in 2000, 2000, I think is when the show came out, 2000, 2001, because it was like my second or third year of law school, and I took it home to my dad. And now, of course, you can stream. And then, of course, I owned it all on DVD when you could buy the DVD sets. And now you can just stream it for free on Netflix. So I feel right. like all that money I invested and I've paid money for his master class. So I feel like I've like literally and emotionally and financially invested in Aaron's I, mean, I feel like he owes at least a little bit of his success and wealth. I really feel like he does. I really, <laughs> really do. <laughs> and you know, here's another trivia piece about him that's so interesting. I don't know if you know this, Mary, but every season finale like show finale mm -hmm. you know this that each episode that's the finale has the same name across all of his shows did you know this really i didn't that is so fun so what is it it's called what kind of day has it been and so they all have like this penultimate mm -hmm. show that it has this title that they're all called yeah so anyway, <laughs> he That's is like my comfort food go-to. Like, I love him. But if you were to ask me, like, right now, Lisa Joe, what are you watching? So I watch everything online. So I actually pulled up my links. I have a link. I have a menu item called Watch Later. And then it's got, like, all the shows that I like to Perfect. watch. Perfect. Love it. I'm writing them down for you. So I'm currently very excited because I love the show Elementary. But it was off the air forever, and it's finally back. So yeah, I, it took a long time to come back this season, I know. It's been super annoying. I don't understand what happened. They had like 100 episodes, and then it was gone for like five months. And I don't think of it as a summer show, so I don't understand what that was about. I think it was a weird thing that CBS just didn't make room for it in its regular calendar. Very odd. So elementary, and then the other one that I really, really am into is um, SEAL Team which you and I have talked about. Yeah, you chose wisely. I did because I, since it was not canceled and the Brave was rightfully so, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I, the other one, it's in my lineup of like sort of these, you know, drama detective-y type shows is Blue Bloods. And oh, I just watched it, the season finale. I literally, I've watched it four times now because the ending is so great. <laughs> it was so great. I was like, Jamie. Oh my gosh. I said to my husband, so we've watched every single episode. We yeah. came late to the Blue Blood game, but we've been to it one summer and then we've watched it the last couple of years. Me too. And so I said to him, as they're like leading up to what all the stuff that happens, I said, if they kill Jamie Reagan, I am done. <laughs> I was going to have no part of that show. They can kill anybody else, but I wasn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't do it. Well, Toe, have you seen the finale yet? Yes, yes. But okay, can we in that one moment, it, they could have gone a different direction. No, it was just so excellent. You know, okay, yes. spoiler, 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 spoiler. Right, right, right. We're going to talk about something. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. But the moment when she takes out the bad guy and then they embrace each other, like they look at each other like they just realize you're the one. Yes. But they don't kiss. And I was like, what is this nonsense? Like, it's not even going to be wrong. What? This is the end? But I should have known better. Of course, it ends with family Reagan dinner. And I just had a family dinner. I just, I And when he comes in and, and starts moving, moving the, the place <laughs> setting and brings a chair, I was like, oh, it's happening. It's happening. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's not just a girlfriend. Like, he's bringing her to dinner. Oh, my gosh. I know. I now, I was not expecting them to go full engagement. 
I was, I think, well, I think I wasn't, but as soon as I heard like that, I was like, of course, it has to be like, there's no dabbling here. You're either right. in or you're out, man. Yeah. Right. It, I didn't even dabbling for a while. It was so good. Yeah. It was so good. So I'm like just a hundred percent in on that. Just love yes, it. I love that show. And I love the characters, but also the issues that they bring up. It seems like almost every week, sure. maybe, maybe not every week, but many episodes, Mark and I will have like a major, not debate, but like a discussion. Like we can see this side of it and we can see this uh -huh. side of it. <laughs> you could be around the dinner table. We really could. No, well, I don't care. I'm just like, entertain me, man. <laughs> But, but obviously, you have an affinity for dialogue. I do. I really not enjoy only it. Not you love Aaron Sorkin, but I also know that you love Amy Sherman Palladino. Oh, my gosh. Gilman was very with her dialogue. Okay. Let's pause there for a moment because you yes. know this, but I don't know if I've shared it anywhere. Um, I don't know if I've actually told the story. So, once again, Gilmore Girls is one of those shows that debuted before Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime, back in the dark days of oh. time. Where you were animals every week for the show to come on <laughs> and rush home and sing along and watch the fairy lights light up. Hold on a second. Um, go away, child. I have a child standing at the door. Get ye gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Very good folks. Dancing <laughs> behind the glass door right now. <laughs> That's what happens when you have teenagers. They think they're so funny. So anyway, I would watch every week to watch the show, right? I would watch every week. I would wait every week to watch the show. But then in like season, must have been season one or two, Peter and I moved to Ukraine. Okay. Ukraine. Now at this time there was still dial up internet, you guys. Like, do you know what that is? And when we, in, when we were in Ukraine, in if order you don't to know what dial up is, my friends, just, just don't even tell us. Like Google it's so it. tragic. <laughs> does everyone recognize that sound? Dur, 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 you know, <laughs> But it was even yeah. worse than that because it wasn't like you could like have an ongoing connection. Like you're not even gonna believe this is true. We would buy like an old phone card with the scratch where you scratch off the silver to see a code and uh -huh. plug it into my computer to get like half an hour of like being. Oh on. my gosh! So not only was there no streaming services, you couldn't get online. It wasn't like they were screening Gilmore Girls in Ukraine. Right. I was so desperate. To read Gilmore Girl, to to keep up with Gilmore Girls, that I found fan sites where they had a transcription of the show, you guys, and I would read the episodes every. Oh week. I would read them. This I is love that. <laughs> I love that so much. Did you ever read? Um, well, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but did you ever read the site Television Without Pity? Oh, all the time! Oh like, my gosh, yes. that was my go-to. Yes. Like I would watch an episode of something and then I would go and read the 14 pages right. of right. a recap. I still feel like I need that because I need, I enjoy group viewing experiences. Like I need to know yes. what you thought about it. And so after I watched the finale of The Good Place, oh, yeah. I had to get online and then like read everything. Cause I was I, like, oh I, my, that just blew my mind. I have to talk to other people about this. And I'm yes. like, a, three-year-old TV nerd what's wrong with me and I'm like I don't even say anything I'm just in all these forums like reading and then thinking oh yeah I agree with you cat 94 you know plus sign whatever <laughs> this person There's nothing is. wrong with that you're my people this is why we can talk about this I need to know what the people think and then I can't handle it if they disagree with me like my oh I'm echoing I'm sorry so I think I got too excited for the computer <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. I don't like it when like Peter and I don't agree about a show. Then I'll be like, I can't watch this with you anymore. Like, I'm so sorry that you're uncultured and don't see it the way I do. You know? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately with Mark working nights, we have a lot of separate TV time. <laughs> um, but yeah, but we also like to have shows to watch together on the weekends. Yeah. And so it's hard when we can't find a show that we both really like. Like yeah. I said this last weekend, um, I said, hey, you know what? Everyone has said we should watch Pull Dark. Oh. Have you watched that? I have. Um, so lots and lots of people have recommended it. And since I am now sucked into Victoria, thank you, Michael Lynn, for watching this <laughs> video, um, I said, okay, let's, let's give Pull Dark a try because I thought Mark would like that. Oh, dear. What's and we watched the, 
the first episode. Uh huh. And my thoughts were, why didn't anybody mention how handsome this guy is? <laughs> a. Um, but I, I didn't say that one out loud. And B, this is really good. Let's watch another episode. And Mark said, nah, it's okay. Oh, no. And my heart shattered. <laughs> TV divorce. <laughs> and I said, well, I mean, I don't have to wait for you. Like, I can just watch it on my own. Oh, you know, like, we, like, we have Saturday night. That's it. Right, right. And he said, um, well, no, I want to watch it. But I'm like, just one episode of a weekend. Oh, what's that about? What, are we living in the dark ages again? <sighs> Apparently. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But here's a hint. I feel like by the end of season one, you should just pretend the show is over. Oh, okay. That's what I did. I was like, and then they lived happily ever after like <laughs> in my head because I heard some stuff about season two and I'm like Phoebe in Friends. Like if a thing is ending in a way that I don't like, I just, I'm just like the end. It's happy now. Right, right, okay. Excellent coping mechanism. But since we're talking about BBC, because they have some outstanding yes. stuff, here's a show maybe he would like to watch with you. So Peter and I watch together at the moment, and it's just so great because it's kind of a light, you know, not a deep emotional investment, not super scary, but really entertaining and fun. We watch the detective crime series Father Brown. You okay, watch I've heard of that. Oh, it's delightful. It's really? so Delightful. Yes, there's this priest and he solves crimes. <laughs> so great. Father Brown, there's like a million episodes on Netflix. And I'll just say this, the pilot episode I did not enjoy. Often I feel like they make the pilots like super, I don't know, like off kilter and questionable in the plot line. But then the rest of all the other episodes are just completely charming that you could watch if you wanted to with older kids, you know? Like there's not graphic blood, there's not... It's not as dark as Blue Bloods even. It's just this delightful English town where all these murders happen on <laughs> their own vacation. And then on the ground on his bicycle, you know, goes to accidentally solve crimes. It's delightful. Love it. <laughs> so great. Okay, okay. I'm going to have to put that on my list. Yes, yes. Tori says the priest is Arthur Weasley. Yes, the actor who plays Arthur Weasley in the Harry Potter films is Father Brown. And he literally is Father Brown. Like you just okay. you can't imagine him in normal clothes. It's so <laughs> great. Okay, so, so he's a priest, so there must not be like a romantic angle to it. Um, well, he has these great sidekicks that are just awesome. And of course there's a young lady and her name is Bunty. <laughs> <laughs> Bunty is delightful and she's always getting into capers. I just love her. Capers. Oh my goodness. Father Brown and Bunty, and then Mrs. Tori, what's the lady's name? Mrs. What, the lady who works in the rectory with him. I forget her name, but she's really great too, the older dame of the show. So if you're just looking for like a family show, oh, on that note, I'm sorry, this is not going to be a, well, if you're looking for new shows, this show, this conversation will be helpful because I'm just going to spout TV shows at you. Um, my children are really into, we are watching as a family, um, Psych. Do you remember that? Oh, I love Psych. It's so great. Oh my gosh. I Forever ago, but we've watched it all the way through. We're in like season four now. Yeah, I love Psych. Actually, I've been wanting to rewatch it because they had the movie in December. Oh, they do? There's going to yeah, be a so well, there, like this past December, there was a movie on USA Today, no. of like a reunion movie, no. and it was so good. I loved it. Well, Amazon is very much like for the fans. Right. And if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. Everything is on there. So oh, we, all the seasons. Yep. And my it's funny because you can see the huge, you know, progression of TV quality like from right. eight years ago to yes. now. Um, but my children love it and it's super funny and it's not gory and I mean you know it's great yeah, it's, it's feel, very good I feel like Father Brown is like the British version okay I miss those kind of light-hearted crime-solving shows from USA to I right. started to say USA today, from USA right and see Tori is making all the connections and Tori I did know this Gus yes. from Psych is Charlie from the West Wing which adds yes. like, always fun <laughs> Always okay. times. Yes. Like, so I was trying to think in that 
note. I feel like, oh, another BBC show have we talked about. Have you, did you ever watch the BBC um, series Robin Hood? I haven't, but I know you love Robin Hood stories. This one is so great. It was on Netflix forever, but I actually don't know if it's still on there. And I think there were only three seasons, but it was so good. So good. That is one when I saw it, I saw it somewhere on some list or something. I thought, oh, I bet Mark and I would like to watch that. I'm writing it down. Oh, and didn't we talk about the Three Musketeers? Speaking oh, of Oh, yes, I love them. <laughs> Although, the, when the last season finally came to Hulu last year, I was so excited because we've been waiting forever. Yeah. And I don't know if it was just my mood or the show or what, but we haven't finished it because we watched a few episodes. And I was just like, mm -hmm. I, get no. I know. So we need to get back to it because we have like, I don't Ooh. know, six episodes or four. I don't know. Just a right. handful of episodes to finish. So good. So good. I watch so much TV. <laughs> I don't understand people who tell me they don't have time to watch TV. I'm like, what do you do between 10 and 2 in the morning? Like, I don't. What do you do with that time? <laughs> Why aren't you putting it to better use? <laughs> That's true. Like, what, what are you doing with your life? Why is your house so clean? Do you sleep that much? Come on, people. Man up and watch more TV. I do feel like I can't decide if I'm proud of myself or that it's bad parenting that my children are now binge watching for the first time. Like they're binge watching psych, you know, they're experiencing, they're like, just one more episode, just one more episode. And Pete and I are like, no, you have to go to bed so that we can binge watch our show. Right. <laughs> Well, I think be proud. I think in this, on this page, in my, in my here, in the safe place, my world's yes, it is a safe, yeah. judgment-free zone. No good. guilt here. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear it. I know. Well, um, I will say that to completely change the genre, the other show we've really enjoyed watching with our kids, and they enjoy it just purely from the adventure point of view. But I enjoy it from the psychological point of view. Is the show um, Running Wild with Bear Grylls? You oh yeah, movies? I have not watched it. What? It's so great. So Bear Grylls is this British survivalist, right? Yes. Was, My husband they, used to watch this regular show. Right, because he has like all these survival shows. Yeah. So this is a spin on that where he invites a celebrity to come with him to do like a two-day survival thing. Mm -hmm. Well, there are just so many benefits to that. A, getting to see a celebrity with no makeup, completely out of their comfort zone, drinking pee. Literally in the wild. Literally, or like watching Kate Hudson squeeze elephant dung to get water out of it and then drink it. Like so many great fringe benefits to the show. But I, what I especially love about the show is that Bear Girls is a believer, okay? He's a Christian. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's quite an outspoken person of faith. But okay. in the show, he's not all like up in your business about it, right? I always tell my boys, it's such a great example of what it looks like to just love people well. And he brings these celebrities along with him and he admires them and he encourages them and he they open up and share all the stuff with him that they would never say on a talk show because they're like sleeping in a cave together, you know? Right. And honestly, the, the best episode, like if you're just going to watch one that will get you hooked is the Zac Efron episode. It is the, have you not seen all these articles I mean, about I'm the Bear Girls bromance with Zac Efron? Because Zac is just like, I'm so excited to be with Bear. I'm so excited. He's so cute. He's like this little kid. He's like meeting his hero. It's so great. That's hilarious. Yeah. Taking celebrities out of their comfort zone and yet somehow helping them be the best version of themselves. So good. Interesting. Okay. And I know that that just like there's a new season on right now. Right. Just start, like, we're just like halfway through the a new season. But the, you can just go and watch the best ones. Like Kate Winslet. Oh my gosh. She's amazing. You'll just love her all over again watching it. Kate Hudson, on the other hand, wakes up and like needs ice for her skin and bears like, um, <laughs> Ice for her skin? We're in the wilderness. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, funny. I wake up in a house that I don't get ice on my skin. Oh, I know, but you don't wake up with, like, you know, a whole tribe of minions to serve you. All your friends. So, yeah. Sadly, no. Sadly, no. Yes. So, Bear Girls is such a great show, Running Wild. Okay. Well, thank you for all of these suggestions. I know. I'm what not are you sure we'd have, we'd have all the same shows, and I'm so excited we did. I just talk too much. What are you binging at the moment? Um, well, as we mentioned at the beginning, 
I will be binging um, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Okay. Because there's a new season. Um, and I'm hoping that it is more like seasons one and three, not like season two. Season two is kind of lousy. Okay. Um, but I'm catching up on Jane the Virgin. Oh, oh, I, I got that show. Yes. I love, love, love it. And I got way behind. And so I'm finally almost caught up. Oh, it's and so I think good. Being the Virgin is like exercise <laughs> where, or, or other things that are, what? because when I see it on my DVR, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to watch Superstore. Mm. But then when That's I watch it, choice. It's like, this is so good. Why don't I do this all the time? Yeah, so right. Totally or, or other things that I might put off or avoid that when I do them, I'm like, this is so great. I just, I just commit to the show the way a yes. real woman would. Yes. yes. So I think I have three episodes left to be completely caught up. Is and your preference more? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I was going to say, and then my hope is to catch up on Crazy Ex Girlfriend. Have you watched that? No, I'm taking a note. I have how well, have I heard of this? I'm not sure it will be up your alley. It is a musical. <laughs> okay. I do enjoy musicals. It is a TV show that is a musical and it's on the CW, which I know that is I not offensive to you. <laughs> um, the premise is that she is a lawyer, like a, okay. by all accounts, a reasonable, intelligent woman. She runs into her childhood love from camp. Oh, nice. nice. And then moves across the country to be near him and becomes like <laughs> totally unhinged, obsessed with him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to watch But this. she sings songs. All the characters sing songs in all these different genres. And Ooh. it is it's dark. It's definitely a dark comedy. Who's who's this it? Who's the showrunner or the writer? Oh, yeah. oh man. I can't even think of what the girl's name is. Who's it by? Do you know? I don't. Okay, I'm going to look that up. Um, and some of it's definitely like grown up TV. Okay. It's not for the kids. Gotcha. Um, but, um, <laughs> dude, I can't think. Oh, Rachel. I want to say Rachel Bloom, but maybe that's not right. It's okay. Anyway. I'm, I'm excited though. That sounds awesome. So are you, yes. are you more comedy than drama? I am. Well, I'm more comedy than drama because don't even get me started on This Is Us and how I don't watch it. No, I don't watch it either. We're the because same on this. I, I feel like we had this yeah. conversation. I don't want to cry for an hour, but I don't, I don't need that in my life. I mean, like detective or scary versus. Yeah, so I love, like, I love procedurals. The me cop too. shows, the. Uh -huh. I really do. Not like the boring ones. Like, I don't watch Criminal Minds or. Right. I do watch NCIS. Well, I was like a huge Veronica Mars fan. Oh, like, love. 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 And the best part about that is that I only discovered Veronica Mars like right the year the movie was coming out. So I could oh, watch that's all the seasons and then go watch the movie and like nice. see how it all wrapped up. Yeah, it was well done. It was have awesome. Have you seen, have you seen there's a little, so it ended after season three, it was canceled. Right. But they made a like a really long trailer for season four, what season four would have been. Yes. Have you We're watched that? Supposed to join the FBI and all the yeah. stuff they reference in the movie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I liked I like watching that. Sometimes I just watch it for fun. Yeah, me too. It's like comfort food. Yes. That is exactly what it is. <laughs> I one of my best friends, like one of the greatest gifts a friend has ever given me, and it's my friend Amy. She's so amazing. But at different points in my life, when she would discover I hadn't watched like certain shows, so like when Buffy the Vampire Slayer was really huge, mm -hmm. uh, I Amy and, and our friends in law school used to all watch it, and I was always like, "Oh my word, really? That's so dumb! Like, why would you watch that?" And then I was visiting her. I was home from Ukraine, and I was staying in their apartment in Chicago. And Amy, was, Amy had to go to work, and I was at home. And she's like, she gets up in the morning. She's like, "Here's your assignment. I have marked out on the DVDs the episodes you need to watch, and they will give you the entire arc of the relationship, like these nine episodes." Watch all of them today. And so like brilliant. she left me homemade chicken pot pie, a list of episodes, and I sat in her apartment and just watched the entire Buffy Angel arc in time, but yeah, and like rushing so that I would get them all done before I had to go catch my train that night. Right. And then told her and I was like, Oh my gosh, Amy. 
So she did the same for me for Veronica Mars. And like, there've been certain shows over the years. She's constantly like, have you, you haven't watched it? All right. And then she like gets out and tells me which episode. Oh my gosh. To see the whole arc. So we I all need an Amy in our life. Um, right. So I just did the same thing with the show Bones that has like a oh, yeah. million episodes and I just watched the highlight ones and got the whole arc. Yeah. How was the last half of the series? Because I quit when she got pregnant. No, oh, it was so good. It was but, so good. Yes. Yeah, so maybe someday I'll go back and watch the rest of it. Because I didn't watch all of them. Like I just did the right. Amy, the Amy arc, and it's really great when you do it that way. Right. Well, so you probably weren't quite as invested as I was because we had watched every single episode. Wow. So then when she got like randomly pregnant, surprise at the end of an episode. Yes, but then they get married and their wedding is so amazing. And it's just well, like, I wouldn't know because I was, I, that is the only show I've ever quit because I was mad. You missed the whole payoff because it, and their relationship and when they're married is just like so interesting and what they learn about each other and how they grow together. It's so worth it. I need to go back. This is a lesson in why you shouldn't make decisions when you're emotional. Sure. It's totally fine to break up with TV for a while, but give it a second chance is what I'm saying. I should. I should do that. You owe it to Bones. And then go watch Seal Team because he's really good in that. I know. My husband's been watching it, so he wants me to catch up so we can watch it together. It's really good. I'm just a little bitter because I really liked The Brave. I know you did. I know, but it was dumb. Well... And I watched every episode. <laughs> I was say, like, the network agrees. <laughs> the people have voted. <laughs> I, let's end on this note. The thing that makes me the angriest, at least the brave got to wrap up, like, its big plot yeah. line, right? Yeah. So some closure. One of them was so stressful at the end. Right. And it one of them was too much for me. It was very intense. But one of the shows I really loved was called Unforgettable. Did you ever watch that about the police detective, Carrie Wells, who could remember every single day of her life? I know what show you're talking about, but I didn't watch it. Totally got into it. Okay, two huge pet peeves with TV shows. Number one, the first season goes great. It's in a nitty-gritty little police office, and you love these characters, and they're pretty gritty and raw. And then everybody likes it, so it gets picked up for season two. And they, like, drop half the, like, ancillary characters that were really great background color, upgrade them to this, like, snazzy police unit that's, like, all high-tech and gloss, mm -hmm. and completely dial down, like... The dialogue intention that's been building all of season one. And you're like, wait a minute, did we just step into an alternate universe? Like, are you even going to explain what happened to the rest of your crew who are no longer with us? But I persevered because I really yeah. loved the show. Mm -hmm. And then, and this is not a spoiler since the show has been off the air for years, the very lost episode of what ended up being the lost season ever, the main character, her love interest, who he, she's finally connecting with, gets shot. And is lying, dying in her arms. And, and that's that, how it ends? That is it. Because there was supposed to be another eight episodes that got canceled and they never Oh my it. gosh. I they didn't, they didn't burn all those episodes or anything? I don't even understand it. I've even tried to find the scripts. I'm like, what happened to the dude? How do oh my gosh. Feel so bitter. So bitter. So that now is not I cool. start getting into a show, I actually go and look to see like how many seasons there are and if I'm going to get yeah. burnt again. TV burnt. TV burnt. It's a real thing. I know. It is a real thing. That's why you got to be careful. <laughs> Don't invest your heart too heavily in a CTV. Right. I mean, maybe just in general. Don't get as, in <laughs> as invested as... No. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun. And oh. I'm so thankful for your time. Oh, well, it just feels like a Voxer conversation. I feel like we have these conversations all the time. I know. I know. Oh, great. It's just, it's just uh, letting, letting people listen in and oh, chime in. So. I know. I love talking TV with you. It is very fun. Okay. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Lisa Joe, where can people find you if they want to hear more of you and your Everywhere on social media and on the Internet, I am just the same. Lisa Joe Baker. All right. There you have it. So I will go back and put all of our uh, shows and suggestions in the notes. <laughs> More than you could possibly want. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's why the people are here. We'll give the people what they want. We give them what they want. <laughs> Great. Now I can go put my pajamas on and take my bra back off and go watch some TV. 
That's right. Kick back on the couch and, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Always good hanging out with you, Mary. Yes. All right. Thanks, Lisa Joe. Bye. Bye.